Yeah. And welcome to this groundbreaking event that's been uh, decades in the making. My name is John Schreiber, and I am proud to be NJPAC CEO for 14 seasons now. So there. <laughs> and they said it wouldn't last, so there. Um, to be surrounded by so many friends and colleagues and collaborators as we launch NJPAC's next generation is inspiring and it's humbling. Thank you all for being here with us today. Um, to begin, we acknowledge the Lenape Hoking peoples on whose ancestral lands we stand. We know that many individuals were once buried on these grounds, which we hold sacred and will memorialize with two permanent remembrances when the campus is completed. It is with the determination, strength, and spirit of all those who came before us that we offer a pledge of social justice awakening and education in order to raise awareness and strengthen the communal fabric of Newark. This art center is honored to be the stewards of this land and to be positive contributors uh, to our community. Uh, please help me thank our TD Jazz for Teens alumni for playing this morning. Yep. It is fitting that these young artists are present in the same space that the Cooperman Center will be built on right here, right where you're sitting. Today we are celebrating the first major expansion of our campus since we opened our doors in 1997. Today we make good on our promise to be an effective, useful, engaged, and intentional anchor cultural institution. Grounded right here and committed to Newark and its ongoing uh, equitable and inclusive development. In the next 45 minutes, you will hear from a dozen special individuals, each of whom has played a unique and indispensable role uh, in getting this project to the finish line. Not to worry, they have all promised to make astonishingly brief remarks. So there. Now, the facts of the matter. The, the master planning of our campus is a $336 million project. It features the construction of the 58,000 square foot Cooperman Family Arts Education and Community Center right here on Lot C, plus the building of Artside on our parking lot A across the way, consisting of 350 residential units, including 15 townhomes, and the extension of Mulberry Street all the way to Rector Street. It also includes the re-architecting of Chambers Plaza, our front yard, uh, to include the new Essex County Green and a new entrance and event space on NJPEC's East Wing. And, and I, as we narrate our future, it's essential we not forget how we got here. 31 years ago this fall, we broke ground on the original Arts Center campus. Four individuals charted the course back then that got us from idea to reality. Governor Tom Kane, the visionary who believed a community-engaged performing arts center could be a catalyst for Newark's bright future. Ray Chambers, businessman, philanthropist, son of Newark, who stepped up first to help coalesce stakeholders of every stripe to support this new idea. Former Mayor Sharp James, whose advocacy for NJPAC was transformational. And my predecessor, Larry Goldman, who not only built our place with expertise and love, but also ran it for 22 years. Larry is here today. Thank you for your incredible stewardship of this organization over so many years. Where is he? He is there. Okay. Welcome back, Larry. Welcome home, Larry. So, that said, you may well ask, what's the deal? And uh, here to explain the project to you briefly is Tim Lazura, NJPAC's big dealer, our executive vice president of real estate and capital projects, a pro whose experience and expertise in public-private partnerships made him the ideal candidate to get us to today. As this project has advanced over the years, he has led it effectively, creatively, patiently, and with perpetual good humor. Tim, 